Welcome everyone, this is Lewis, and right now you're watching Timeless Side Trails. And we are here at the first port of Los Angeles, the Long Wharf. Right now we're located eight miles east from Malibu and six miles northwest of Marina del Rey and nine miles south from Encino, beautiful cities. So I was around here to know that a lot of places like this are around LA area in LA County. Make me a favor, subscribe to the channel, please, because I pay a lot of money to come over here. This place is actually not for free. <laughs> no, this park, you have to pay to park here $9 per car, like 15 bucks for a truck or something like that. I don't know. As you can see, today is a groomy day here in California. Normally it's not like this, it's pretty sunny. You can see by miles and miles apart everywhere. It's a beautiful place. A lot of people with their bikes running around, diving over there and the activities what they need to do in Southern California. So this port is called the Long Wharf in Santa Monica. It's also known the Port of Los Angeles. About a mile long, the pier was constructed in the Southern California Royal Pacific Company in Santa Monica Bay. It was the longest wharf rail in the world, measuring around 4,700 square feet. The wooden structure passenger port, the lumber of the northern port to help the construction of the railroad of the street part of Los Angeles Railroad can pass your tram to the pier was double track on rail lines on the lines of movement of cargo and freight. After San Pedro made their cargo ports in 1897, the commission head towards Mr. Grim Walker, who was later become the chair of Irish Canal Commission in 1904. All the ports were moved toward the San Pedro Los Angeles Harbor. Southern California Railroad put the end of the Santa Monica Wharf. So this is one of the railroad lines that they did back in the 1900s, going towards the ocean. And the plaque says, the poor Los Angeles Long Wharf. In 1893, the Southern California Pacific Railroad Company completed a 4,700 foot wharf, which served as a deep water port for the Los Angeles area. After the San Pedro became the Los Angeles official harbor, they wanted to make it as official like the one in San Pedro, but they couldn't because of the loss in 18. 1997 shipping activity at the port of Los Angeles declined, abandoned, and dismantled. No trace of remaining of the wharf, the longest wooden pier in the world. You guys already know that the railroad lines were all over LA before 100 years ago. The Los Angeles Independence Railroad was key to its early success. Very steep coastal palisades and Santa Monica made the rail access limited given the Pacific Trans Monopoly and run from Ocean Avenue to Colorado Avenue down to the beach. And I was going along right here and I saw this woman right here and I was reminding him like, oh, who this reminding me? Oh yeah, Baywatch. Thought to know that this is one of the locations that they film the lifeguard headquarters where the television series Baywatch was filmed from the 1989 to 1999. A lot of part of the locations of the filming was around this pier and the headquarters as well. They had other places too like in Mexico and, and Suma Beach, the Malibu area as well because you know it's a beautiful place. So who knows of all the cast members they knew this was an actual first port of LA like Mr. David or Pamela Anderson during the filming of Baywatch through the 1990s. So this is the site of the Long Wharf. They, so all the tracks used to come from over there and they used to go all the way down here to all the way over there where you see all those rocks at. That is really cool. So imagine railroad tracks all the way. Oh shit not trying to fall down or nothing but I come here for you guys I have the whole day to do all this you can see all the waves <laughs> Damn. I am so I, I I'm not trying to to fall of all these waves but the good thing the the waves are not too high over here by the rocks So imagine it goes all the way over there. In my draw, I'm gonna show you guys more, but 
So it's supposed to go a little bit more, up to a thousand feet more that way. This is a really cool place to come. I didn't know too much about it, but I know that this is like a wooden port and they dismantle it because, look, I guess with the people with money, because this is all Pacific Palisade. Over there, that's Pacific Palisade. So they didn't want a whole railroad system to come all the way down over here to, to have their own port as like Los Angeles port or um, San Pedro port up that way. Because San Pedro port is all the way over there. And you know, the people over here, they have all the money in the world. So, you know, they're just uh, politicians and stuff and they dismantle everything in the 1913. Pretty cool if it was like a really train system here. Right now, we're gonna take a aerial look of the Long Wharf. Imagine having all these tracks running all the way around 100 feet towards up north, towards this side, and bringing freight and bringing boats around it. And you can see that they were really occupied during those times with the cargo. And right now, we are going to the other landmark that is on the other side of this hill. This hill hasn't been developed, I guess, because of uh, recreational purposes but this was actually called the Portero Longview. It was going from north to west and this is the aerial way that it was going the train towards the wharf. And back in the 1900s they have all this elaborate system with the train system in Los Angeles Pacific. Just imagine how cheaper life would it be by now. And now here we're getting to our second landmark. There's two people right there. I was actually looking at the landmark and they are flipping us off right there. So um, <laughs> what else we can do with all these type of people around here? They have nothing else to say that is right. They cannot wave. They cannot do a peace sign like back in the 80s, but we can please everyone. So when I was searching to do this video, I saw they had other pictures too nearby, kind of related towards this, but they had a Japanese fishing village near the Long Wharf. And now if you pass around there, because I live around the area, all that area is empty in that side. This is a lookout of the supposedly Long Wharf called the Portero Canyon that I mentioned earlier. And now this canyon was made to a recreational and park services for the people. Just walk up and down. It's, it's, pretty, it's a little bit steep, but it still goes all the way around to the PCH, all the way to the Palisades Village. I actually forgot to film this location. It's like this road that it goes all the way from Malibu to Reseda. They were gonna make back in the 1920s, I believe, from Temesco Canyon that is nearby this wharf to all the way to Reseda. They were gonna make it this um, freeway. It was supposed to be a historical freeway, but they never did it because, of course, the rich people in the Palisades and Brentwood and all those areas, they don't want a freeway running all the way down to their town and they were going to throw up a whole bunch of mountains and forests and all that. So they didn't want to do all that kind of stuff. So in the comment below, if you live around this area or in the Pacific Palisades, let me know if you know anything about this freeway or this wharf. So this is the Long Wharf, it's timeless side trail. And remember, I'm a real estate agent in California. And please subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this, press here or press there. And thanks for watching and until next one, bye.